Hey everybody, we're out here in the garage with the 1929 monitor top refrigerator. I know everyone wanted to see something different besides this lantern, so I'm doing this video now of the food safe, as I call it. This is uh, the very first uh, type of refrigerator that GE uh, developed. Uh, first in 1927, uh, the earlier cabinets had a wood liner and were of mostly wood construction on the inside. And since wood uh, expands and contracts with temperatures and moisture, it was better that they devised a all steel construction. So this is the first year for the all steel construction. And the monitor top was really the first successful electric refrigerator. In 1929, with the old new steel cabinet, they still had the exposed coils on top. Now I'll show you the mechanism. The compressor motor is on top where it should be. That was also part of the ad campaign. This is your compressor motor right here. This is your uh, refrigerating coils. And now we know most refrigerators, the coils are on the back of the cabinet, but they're wrapped around the compressor on top. Here is your control box, your thermostat, your on and off, and all your on and your off button. And uh, that's really fun. Let's open it up real quick and take a quick look inside it. I'm using it as a storage compartment right now for a lot of camping junk and whatever and car stuff, but this is your evaporator. The evaporator will ice up the refrigerant and everything goes around, circulates, and then cools everything down. So this ices up, and then when you want to defrost, you turn it off the machine, and then the condensation and ice will fall, melt off of this into here. This, it still has its original racks, which is pretty rare. It's in pretty good shape. Oh, wait, 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 let me show everybody this. Now see this? These are gashes in the porcelain. You don't see those anywhere else. Somebody was trying to defrost the refrigerator improperly. And I will tell you, that happens more times than not because people say, I don't want to turn off my machine because my food will go bad. Well, that's not true. If you turn off the machine and let it drip off into that, into that glass dish, but keeping the door closed, it'll be defrosted overnight and the temperature in the cabinet won't go above 50. So your food will still be cool, safe to eat, and once you you dip out the, you know, once you dip out the water and get rid of that and wipe it all down, then you just turn it back on and you're good to go. So it's actually a very uh, smart and simple process. No knives or hammers or blunt objects necessary. Uh, but the monitor top came about, like I said, 1927. They continued to make it 19, up to 1937. The only reason why GE stopped making the monitor top refrigerator was because housewives felt that it was unsightly. They wanted a more clean design, and they also liked to be able to put things on top of the refrigerator because it was a, you know, a, it could be a potentially flat surface for putting a radio, or cookbooks, or what have you, other kitchen appliances. So. They fell out of favor with the uh, modern housewife of the 1920s and 1930s, and so GE wasn't selling them as much, even though they still believed in the design over the flat top fridge that they started offering by 1934. The uh, refrigerant in these earlier machines was SO2, which is sulfur dioxide. In 1933, they experimented with a methyl formate. And that didn't work out so well between 33 and 34. They went back to SO2 sulfur dioxide, and that was the ref primary refrigerant up to 1937. However, GE still continued to make replacement tops from 1937 all the way to 1942, and then after 42, they made a bread box looking replacement top for monitor tops, and they used an R12 Freon uh, as a refrigerant by that point in the 1945, from 46 to 49 or so. Anyway, so this is the original top to this fridge. It uh, still has its original charge of SO2 gas, and it works flawlessly. Uh, I don't run it right now because it's very hot in the garage, and they don't like to be in very hot atmosphere. The motor will strain and labor and work longer, and that means it will shorten the life of it. So when it's cooler out here, I will run it, and I will keep drinks, beers, whatever you like in there. And then, um, you know, so that's it. But that's, that's my 1929 monitor top. If you like what you see, definitely leave a comment, ask questions. I'm happy to answer more questions about these machines. And uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.